All right, so today we're gonna look at um, stride length and frequency. And if you do not know, any, if you're trying to run fast, it's stride length plus frequency that gives you speed. Meaning the length of your stride, meaning the length of your steps, stride steps, and the frequency of your steps are strides, right? So if you hear me say strides, I'm just talking about the, your steps. So we're gonna look at stride length and frequency and how it affects speed. So when we think about stride length and frequency, we're thinking about how fast you're turning over, right? So a good rule of thumb is to not to stretch out the strides, right? Like that, foot landing outside of you. Instead, you want the legs landing under you and you're focusing on turnovers and powerful strides, right? That is the goal. At the same time, you don't want to be taking too much steps like this and thinking you're going fast, right? So with stride length and frequency, the goal is to find, find your range. Find what works for you. Don't overstride or don't understride. So, so the first one we're gonna look at here is an overstriding pattern. All right, so watch me. Atlee gets out and starts to take big steps. Right? That right there is the wrong thing to do. Because guess what happened? Your legs are not landing under your body and you're opening up your steps too much so you're not going to get powerful stride. It may feel like you're covering more ground, but really and truly, if somebody's beside you who's turning over with stride length and frequency at the optimal rate, at meaning the, the golden position, right? The golden position is here, back down. That's the goal in position. Look at any top sprinter, that's where they're at. All right, so now I'm gonna show you the right way. Focus on stride length and frequency without compromising length. So watch me again. Now we're gonna go with the optimal stride length and frequency. So right here, all right, just like this. Again, if you're not, if your legs are not landing under your body, then you're not in the optimal position. 